Hello. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how I process my narrowband images uh, SHO Hubble palette. I'm using a ZWO ASI 1600mm Pro camera with the ZWO electronic filter wheel and ZWO narrowband filters with my Equinox ATED telescope. I've used Astro Pixel Processor to stack and register the images using the multi-channel filter processing um, which stacks each channel separately so after the stack you get the three bands stacked, registered and aligned. Um, then I've uh, come over to Star Tools and I'm going to open up my first stack um, and bear with me, which is HA stack, hydrogen alpha stack. This is around about two hours and four minute exposures. That unity gain on the 1600 is 139. So I'm going to open this up and for the purpose of this video, I'm going to bin it about 35%. That makes it process pretty quick. And normally I'll do a 71% bin for my images. So I've binned it. Now I'm going to um, do a basic stretch or develop to see what's going on. That's all I'm going to do because I'm going to keep that and next I'm going to do a crop. I'm just going to remove that star in the crop because it's a bit of a pain to process the bright stars. So crop out any stacking artifacts. Now I'm going to go and do a wipe. Use gradient because I've used flats and darks um, and sort of auto develop and see what we come up with. Bit of gradient down there, so I'm going to turn up the dark anomaly filter a couple of notches. Hopefully that will get rid of that little. Uh, yeah, that's nice. That's nice. Well wiped image. So I'm going to keep that and develop. Redo the stretch. Dark one normally up to. I just do this. It gets rid of any little hot pixels. And I'm going to get this uh, up to a good level which that looks okay, so I'm going to keep that and save it. Now I'm going to save that as it is, but TIFF file. Save, and next I'm just going to do exactly the same with my O3 and S2 fits. So we'll have, uh, we'll open, looking for O3, S2, so it's S2 open. with star tools, it remembers your crops if you keep the program open so you don't have to look through the log to see your crop size. You want these exactly the same size, they've been registered in Astro Pixel Processor, so are the same that we want to crop out the artifacts and that star. So we'll do the bin 35%. This time I'm going to go straight to crop, <coughs> not develop it at the moment. Crop, and our crop stays there as it was on the last image, so we'll keep the crop. Uh, go straight to wipe, okay. 
Yes, I do. I probably need to do the dark anomaly filter again. Yeah. That's better. Keep. And now we're going to develop that. Keep and save as a TIFF file in the correct folder. So it's a S2 TIFF save. Now I'm going to do exactly the same with O3. So I've processed in startles the three bands of data ready for opening as. SHO palette. So they've been cropped, developed, wiped, and redeveloped. So we're going to LRGB and red. We we'll use S open. Green we use H open. Blue we use O open. That's the SHO. Cap green. There we can see we've almost got the start of our Hubble palette. Uh, I use a uh, HA as a luminance as well. It takes a lot of this glow away from the sky. So that's pretty much the start and channels aligned and opened. So we'll keep that. Now it's like processing any normal image. So the first thing I'm going to do is make a, a mask, a, a decent star mask, also, and um, save that for processing throughout the, the uh, whole image. So it's going to manually select the bright stars which it hasn't selected. Fortunately, there's only a few of them. Few of these small stars without getting too much of the nebula. So adding new to old on small stars. That looks pretty good. So I'm going to save that at the moment. Save mask tiff. tiff. Um, and uh, go to the next stage. What I like to do this stage is a little bit unusual. Uh, I'm going to stop tracking straight away and do my final no or a noise reduction. Next, it takes a while, so I'll cut this bit. Set a full mask. Now the reason for this route is I want to reduce the stars before I do any colour or sharpening of the image. So I'm going to keep that first stretch, um, first denoise, and uh, now I can reduce my stars by opening my star mask. Done that wrong. Undo that. Right, so I want to open my star mask. Open. Now keep that and I'm gonna to go to magic and 
Titan. As you can see, that's reduced our stars pretty nicely. But I'm going to shrink the small stars away. We grow it. So I'm growing on the big stars only now. Keep and I'm going to do that once more. Titan. Oops. That's made the big stars just a little bit smaller. So we keep that. So now I've got my image with the stars shrunk, but I want to be able to work on it with tracking still. So I save the image now as my new composite. Simply open the image back up again and we're tracking again, but with smaller stars. So now I'm going to, I can do deconvolution, everything else that I want to do, and then stop tracking again and do any final touches. So I'm just going to use the mask, open the mask, uh, bring it once. No, I don't want that. Undo. What I don't want to do, I'm doing the colour next. I want to stop these bright red bits from um, oversaturating during the colour. So it's literally going to mask over that. Any of these bright red. It's a little bit unusual, I know. So I'm going to invert that mask, keep it, and go to the color module, and keep the mask, and put a two pixel fuzz. <coughs> Can we get a bit more saturation? I'm going to bring up the dark saturation, about six, cap green again. So you can play about with your reducing colours to change, mm -hmm. uh, which can be tricky to change the shades. A bit more blue in there. Okay, that's not bad. Maybe uh, it's a little bit red. I'm going to change this afterwards um, to get the colours I actually want in a different program. That's pretty good. We're going to keep that now. The mask, I'm going to invert, keep, and go back to the colour again. Keep their mask and the saturation down. Now, two pixels marks, mask fuzz again. And what that's doing is where these are saturated red. I'm trying to get rid of the over red saturation. It does sort of spoil the image. Uh, I need a bit more saturation on that. Oops. 
just want to get that little bit blue to blend in with the background. Try back up to 200. Miss that star, that's why it's staying red. Okay. done with my colour. Now it's up to sharpening and uh, all the other bits and pieces which take a while. But what I'll do is I'll just save this um, number two on that one. Save and then show you quickly my next step which I'll use for this. You can use um, Paint Shop Pro, uh, there's thousands of programs. But what we're going to actually do is just adjust the color channels a bit to. So, uh, that one's the one we've chosen. So I'm just going to adjust the color channels here. I can adjust the individual channels. I want to get this yellow like the rusty colored of the Hubble, Hubble palette so I'm going to just adjust the yellow sliders there we go let's, let's uh, get into the color I want and uh, Just let's see what we can do with the. Don't want to oversaturate it. But just highlight it. So you can see basically what I'm doing there is adjusting the each color channel. I've done sharpening and noise reduction amongst a few other little jobs in Star Tools. Um, I hope this video can be helpful to you. Thanks for looking.